Hi friends, it's Becky. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. On this channel, I am going to be traveling through my 40s trying to get my poop in a group. I'll be working on my financial, my mental, and my physical health with a primary focus on my financial health to be to uh, start off with. I hope that you will consider joining me on this journey and subscribe to my channel so you can come along with me. Um, in today's video, I am going to be setting up my second paycheck of February. I actually get paid this coming Friday on the 18th, but the way I like to do my budget is I set it up in my budget by paycheck planner by the budget mom, and I'll link the description to this planner below. If y'all don't have this and are looking for a wonderful way to start a budget, this is a great plan. Um, but I'm going to set it up in this planner and then on Friday when I get paid because I'm cashless, I'll do my cashless envelope stuffing and I will do that in YNAB, which is You Need a Budget. It's a, it's an app, it's a program that you can download um, on any platform as far as I'm aware and it's basically like cash stuffing but it's digital and so if you're not familiar with that, I'll also link that below. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to move all of this stuff out of the way and we'll get started. Hey guys, okay, so it is significantly later than it was when I just filmed that intro, and that is because I filmed this whole video and then I realized it was fuzzy, um, but it wasn't really fuzzy enough for me to justify redoing it. It was slightly fuzzy, but then um, my battery died halfway through it, and so I replaced it, but it died like up here, and I didn't realize it until down here. So I thought I caught it, but apparently I hadn't. So then I re-recorded it. And when I re-recorded it, it's just stopped filming. And I don't know why it stopped filming. And I'm not even sure how to tell that it is still filming. Okay, I see a record light up there. So I'm hoping that as long as I just glance up every once in a while. So I'm using this new camera that Nathan is letting me use. And I tried to film this last night and I couldn't figure out how to use the camera. Found a wide angle lens. Thought I had it all figured out, and then I had those issues this morning. Now I just had another issue. So I'm going to try again. So, take four of this budget by paycheck video. This paycheck is going to be my 218 check and it needs to cover me through March 3rd. So, this paycheck is going to be for these weeks, for 218 to 33. And then I am anticipating it to be paycheck number two should be $1,708.47. Seth pays me for the car payment that I have financed that he is using. He gives me $420 a month and that is for the car and for the insurance for the car. Right now, I don't think I'll have any rollover. I've been quite spendy. Um, but I'm gonna put it on here just in cases. So. What I anticipate my income to be for this check is $2,128.47. Okay, so I'm gonna bring that down and I'm gonna start with my bills. Y'all, I have a lot of bills that come out of this check. And I know that because I've written them out three times now. <laughs> so PayPal, this is my PayPal uh, line of credit. And this is the one that I owe the most on. So I am just paying $100 a month until I get some other bills paid down. And then I will start really chipping away at this one. Waldo Contacts comes out every four weeks. And somebody commented on my YNAB video suggesting that I split this up and pay half of this every paycheck and that way I'll have it ready and at the end of the year I'll have an extra paycheck, an extra box of contacts funded for the year. Um, I'm going to probably start doing that in March because it comes out of this check so I need the full amount. And then in March when I start my new budget then I'll probably start doing half of it every paycheck. And I'm not sure yet I might put that as a sinking fund but we'll see. Um, I, think I, I think it'll have to be a sinking fund. Audible. Y'all, if you watched my debt confession video, you will know that I pre-ordered the Budget Moms book and then it came in while I, right before I started filming that video and I was super excited to read it. And so I sat down that evening and I read like the first two chapters and then I have not had an extra 20 minutes a day to sit down and read the rest of it. Um, 
So then I downloaded it on Audible last night, so I'm going to try to listen to it. My plan was to try to clean my house today and listen to it while I cleaned, but now I've recorded this video so many times that that might not happen. I might just sit down on my couch and listen to the book and not, not clean. We'll see. Um, Suddenlink is my internet, and I just found out that I get a discount. I'm writing Suddenlink because I said Suddenlink. I get a discount on it because I um because I have Altice Mobile set up for my mom and the two companies are affiliated. So I knew I got a discount on my mom's phone bill. I did not know I got a $10 discount on my Suddenlink bill. So that's a nice change. And it was unexpected. Cinemark comes out on the 26th every month. That is 1081. That is the movie theater near me. It gets me one movie ticket. T I L I T I E S. It gives me one movie ticket a month, and then I can get a companion ticket for like nine dollars. So, like, if somebody goes with me, I only pay nine dollars for their ticket instead of like twelve or thirteen dollars. I don't pay any online fees for booking the tickets online, and then I get twenty percent off of all of my confession confessions <laughs> concessions. Um. So anyway, utilities are water and trash for my city. And this is a bill that I pay, and then I put into Splitwise, and Nathan pays me back. Ally Auto is Seth's car, and this is the one he pays me for. Three twenty-five thirty-nine. And then here is my mom's phone. So Altice Mobile was supposed to be one of those discount plans, and so I signed my mom up for it, and I am funding a phone for her. And the first like six months that I had it, it was seriously like $35 a month and it was wonderful. And then all of a sudden she moved into the country and I had to give her the unlimited data instead of just the like three gigs or whatever. And now it's so expensive. Now it's so expensive. Um, and I don't know what it'll be. I think it'll be less than this. I think they didn't have my discount kicked in for having Suddenlink as well and um but now it should be but I'm budgeting $70 just in cases rent is 500 and the way Nathan and I split the rent is he pays half of the bills I pay half of the bills he pays the mortgage I owe him $400 a month for rent and then um what I pay and what he pays, we put it all into Splitwise, and typically I end up owing him about $500 at the end of the month. But um, sometimes it's a little less, sometimes it's a little more. We'll see. Progressive is my mom's car insurance, and that's due on the first, and that is $70.74. And Geico is my car insurance, and that is also due on the first, and that is $100. And fifty-five dollars and eighty-one cents. Um, quite a lot more than my mom's. Walmart is my credit card, and it is due on the second. And if you watched my budget, my test budget setup for um, Walmart for YNAB, Walmart is um, this is what I have to pay if I pay this every month, plus any interest, plus whatever charges I put on it. I will have this card paid off by the end of the year, and that is my goal. So $76.79 is my base payment for this. So, dun, 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 I bought a calculator. I am going to add this all up, and then we'll make sure that it totals, and I'm gonna have to lean it like this for y'all to see it. I figured that out in the couple of times that I have, uh, I have filmed this video. And sorry for the random music. My, Nathan is on a road trip up to Dallas. His dad lives in El Paso, but he does like this um, Old West reenactments. He's retired, so he does these Old West reenactment things. And um, they, I just messed myself up. They have something in Dallas this weekend. So since he's gonna be only a couple of hours away, Nathan is going up tonight to spend some time with him, and then he'll be back tomorrow evening. So, I have the house to myself, which is why I can film this video four times, but he just tried to call me, so sorry. Um, $1,585.59 is the total that I owe for bills this, this pay period. Whew, that's a lot of money. 
I'm getting a little desensitized to it, <laughs> but that is a lot of money. So if I take that total from what I'm actually expecting to get, minus 212847, I am left with $542.88. So my camera stopped recording again. Fortunately, I've been checking it, but I don't know where it stopped, so I just erased everything, and I'm gonna start again from here. So, I'm going to move this 542.88 down, and then I'm going to do my cashless envelope stuffing. I do not do cash because I am bad with cash, I do YNAB is my cashless envelope stuffing. And y'all, I went into this whole thing about YNAB and this camera cut me off. So I don't know if maybe this camera doesn't like YNAB, but this camera is wrong. YNAB is the best app. It When I was 40, when I first turned 40 and I decided it was time to get my poop in a group, I looked at a bunch of different budgeting methods, a bunch of different apps and things I could use. I watched a whole lot of YouTube reviews and YNAB is what I decided to start with. And within two weeks, I went from being either a zero balance or an overdrawn balance at the end of every paycheck period to having, within two weeks, I had $60 left in my paycheck at the end of the pay period. And I was saving for things and I had money allocated for dining out. I had money allocated for upcoming expenses. I had paid all my bills. I still had a car payment at that time. I still had a debt payment. Like I had done a debt consolidation loan, which you wouldn't believe seeing how many credit cards I have, but I had done one of those things. And that was $500 a month. My car payment was over $500 a month. My rent was $500 a month. Seth's car payment was $325 a month. I was drowning and I didn't know where to start. And I started with YNAB and it has saved me. Um, so I will forever keep YNAB. That is my plan and my goal in life is to have YNAB. And if you are struggling, especially if you struggle with credit cards, I highly recommend YNAB. There's a link in the description box below and it's just a referral link. It's not an affiliate link. Um, everybody who has YNAB gets a referral link. And so if you want to try it out and do the 30 day subscription, you do that for free. And if you've used my link, if you decide to subscribe at the end of your trial, then we'll each get an extra 30 days for free. There is no catch. There is no way that they can accidentally charge you. Um, or if you forget to subscribe, that you'll just be automatically enrolled because you don't enter any credit card information when you start your trial. Um, so they can't, you just try to log in on day 35 and you don't have access to it anymore unless you subscribe. So it's well worth it. Soapbox over. <laughs> uh, dining out, I'm allocating extra money because my mom's birthday, my mom is turning 30, 35. My mom is younger than me somehow magically. My mom is turning 75. My nephew is turning 20. Um, so we're gonna go out to Cheesecake Factory. Groceries, I put extra money in here. I think I spelled groceries wrong, but oh well. Um, I put extra money because I spent a little bit extra this week, and so I need to cover that. Fun money, I pulled some money out of fun money to cover other overspending. Um, so I just need to top it back up. Ecclesial expenses, this is my church contribution. Ecclesia is the word that my church uses to describe the different churches. Um, this is a, I think it's Greek, it might be Hebrew, but I think it's Greek word that j it literally just means church. Um, so if you're familiar with Ecclesiastes in the Bible, it just means church. Um, but this is the way we, we call it. I, I'm a member of the Austin Ecclesia. Um, so ecclesial expenses. So all of these expenses combined, these are my my uh, cash envelopes, my variable expenses. I have 100, I have 120, I have 1377, and I have 100. So 333.77 is my total. Sorry, I just keep checking because I don't know why this stops recording. So if I take that from 542.88, that leaves me with 209.11. And then I'm gonna bring that up here to my sinking funds, 209.11. So I had wanted to start a taxes sinking fund 
because I owed taxes this year for the very first time in my entire life. I'm not sure what happened or why I owed the taxes, and it was only $35. I just don't want to be caught off guard like that again, so I'm going to start trying to put $10 out of every paycheck away, but I just couldn't swing it this month because I've done some overspending. So next month I'm going to work that into my budget. It'll probably be a little bit more than $10 a check to get caught up on what I want to save. YNAB is you need a budget. That's that app I've just been raving about. Um, and it is paid, but it is absolutely worth it. So I save $9.20 a month, and that way when my subscription is due in September, it um, it's ready to go. So y'all, I am a horrible speller, like a horrible speller. And my bestie that I lived with for seven years before she got married and abandoned me, um, just kidding, I love you, Jins. Um, but anyway, she's my spell check. <laughs> and so when we live together, I'd just be like, hey, Jins, how do you spell ecclesia? Hey, Jins, how do you spell utilities? And she'd tell me, and then I'd write it down, and life would be happy. Um, but now I have to rely on my brain to know these things, and my brain is not as, um, as good at spelling as Ginny's brain. So sorry if I spell things incorrectly. I'm just Ginny-less. Okay, so... This is all I'm going to be putting away. Registration and inspection. I just put a little bit away every month for these that are going to be annual. Wondershare is the video editing software that I use. And now that I have started making videos and posting them, I figured I'd better go back and renew that that I had canceled. So that's $26.95 in my sinking funds. And I'm going to take $209.11 minus $26.95. And that's 182.16. So I think this renews in October. And I just need $5 a month to get ready for that. It's not very expensive. So I'm going to bring 182.16 down. I am not going to put anything toward extra debt right now. I know that debt is my main priority this year. But I, uh, I really want to establish an emergency fund. Because I am in my 40s and I don't have one yet, I feel like it's very important that I get that established before I really go hot and heavy on my on my debt. So I'm going to write in Mission Lane in the hopes that when I actually close out this budget, I'll be able to put something toward this card because this is my priority card. But for right now, I'm not going to put anything. So I have $0 toward extra debt anticipated, which leaves me $182.16, which I'm going to bring down here to extra savings. Y'all, it did it again. And again, I don't know where I was. So I'm sorry if you missed my explanation about Mission Lane. I'm not sure, but I'm not going to put anything extra toward debt right now because I really want to reach my emergency fund goal because I will be 42 by the end of this year and I am determined to have a $2,000 emergency fund. More if I can do it, but at least $2,000. So I'm just going to bring that full 182.16 down. That was an ugly six, but whatever. Into my extra savings. And then I'm going to put that into emergency fund. Well, not the full thing. So if you watched my YNAB setup where I'm testing out my new budget that I hope to implement starting in March, um, I set a savings goal of $2,000 by the end of the year. And in order to reach that, YNAB told me how much I needed to save every month. I can't remember the amount that I need to save every month, but what I need left this month to reach my goal is $121.58. Then the 52-week savings challenge. I am doing this front to back and back to front simultaneously. So I started with week one and week 52 for $53. And then I went to week two and week 51 for $53 and so on and so forth. I think I'm on week four and week 49 for $53. Um, so it's $53 out of every check. And that leaves me just a baby balance. that I'm gonna allocate to rollover at $7.58. Um, I'm hoping that some of these might be less than I'm anticipating, or maybe I won't spend all of the money out of these categories, and then I can add it to this and maybe make an extra debt payment or do an extra savings challenge. But for right now, I'm just going to leave it here as a buffer. 
So I'm going to do 121.58 plus 53 plus seven dollars and fifty-eight cents is 182.16. 182.16. Which leaves me with zero dollars, and that is a zero-based budget. I know people get scared when you say zero-based because they think you bring your checking account to zero, and some people may, but I do not. I leave all of this money in my checking account. Well, sometimes I move it to savings, like this emergency fund and this 52-week savings challenge will go straight to my new savings account that I just opened with Ally. Um, that way I don't accidentally spend it. I'm not tempted to move it to go out to dinner one more time. It's where I can't get to it. So... Um, sometimes the job that I get that money is sit there and accrue interest and be there in case I need you. And sometimes the job I give that money is go pay this bill for me. But every dollar has a job, has a purpose, has a reason, and that is a zero-based budget. So my checking account balance does not go to zero anymore because it panics me because I spent so many years of my life with so little in my checking account that I, I do leave a little bit of a buffer in my checking account now. But this is my zero-based budget. If you enjoyed this, if you have any tips that you want to leave me, please leave them in the comments below. Let me know how you're doing, how's your budget looking, how's your year shaping up so far. Um, also, go ahead and give this video a like. Let me know you enjoyed it. Let me know you stayed to the end. Um, say, hey, thanks for, uh, what am I gonna ask you to say? Just say, hey. I made it to the end of the video. Leave me a little heart emoji if you saw the end of the video. And that way I'll know. And then also, if you would please consider subscribing, it would mean so much to me. I would love to grow this channel um, and to be able to reach more people. I also, just today, in between some of the filmings of these different videos that I've done, started an Instagram. So I'll link my Instagram below. It's a brand new channel. I just started it. And um, there's like one post. But anyway, you can follow me. And when I do get to uh, giveaway status, I'm not there yet, but when I get to give away probably around 100, 100 subscriptions, I think I'm gonna do a giveaway. Um, and it'll probably be in Instagram just because that's easier to do. Anyway, I hope y'all are having a fantastic day wherever you are and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.